Catherine yes. Bernardo, handang-handa ng umibig, magkajowa uli. Yes, kahapon pa. Yes. Kahapon pa! Kahapon pa! Ready, ready, let's go, no, yes. All-star update. Ready na uling magmahal at magka-boyfriend ang box office queen na si Catherine Bernardo makalipas ang isang taon na maghiwalay sila ni Daniel Padilla. Sakali mang dumating at makita na niya ang lalaking muling magpapatibok ng kanyang puso ay handang-handa na raw ang kapamilya superstar. Sa interview ng Fast Talk with Boy Abunda, nitong October 28, ay diretsahan siyang tinanong tungkol sa pakikipagrelasyon. Am question ni Tito Boy, Catherine, yes or no? Are you ready to fall in love again? na sinagot agad-agad ni Catherine ng yes. Hirit pa ng dalaga, kahabon pa, ready and ready na, yes. Bumisita si Kat sa programa ni Tito Boy sa GMA7 para ipromote na rin ang upcoming movie nila ni Alden Richards na Hello Love Again, mula sa Star Cinema at sa direksyon ni Kathy Garcia Sampana. Natanong din ni Tito Boy kay Catherine ang tungkol sa past nila ni Daniel kung saan nabanggit ng aktres na marami siyang realization sa kanyang sarili mula na magganya-kanya sila ng landas. I don't know if I'm the right person to ask, because I've only been into one relationship that lasted for 11 years. I've learned so much from my past relationship during, I'm talking about growth, I'm talking about being unselfish, about gratitude, dreams, and all. Numakyo po sa 11 years ng relationship na yun, so during that 11 years, I'm learning, and after, when the breakup happened, ang dami ko rin natutunan after sa sarili ko at sa lahat ng nangyayari. Feeling ko, I'm still in work progress, but I still don't know the real definition of love, paliwanag ng dalaga. Patunoy pa niya, I think love can be found anywhere, it can be from your family, from your friends, from your boyfriend or from your girlfriend. And now, I feel like I am so surrounded with so much love, ayun yung pinapafeel sa akin ng mga tao. Doon ko na-realize after everything na, after what you went through, kung ano man yun, any challenges, isusurround ka talaga with so many good energy and so much love, Aniya pa. Sumunod na tanong ni Tito Boy, ano ang nadiskubi mo sa sarili mo after the 11 years? To go ni Catherine, I think it's safe to say na I'm pretty strong, I didn't expect myself, I think all the people here didn't expect na I will handle it that way. Me too, I didn't expect it, but it's just that moment in my life tested my faith so much and feeling ko sobra kong nagay dun. Wala rin daw siyang pinagsisihan sa 11 years na relasyon nila ni DJ, you know, nothing, I don't regret anything, ayoko siyang pamunahan, I want you to experience all the happiness, all the pain. Feeling ko maraming magkukwestyon nun, but it was 11 beautiful years, kung ano yung nakikita niyo sa akin na yun, ang laking part ng 11 years na yun, so, kung nandyan si Little Kath, sasabihin ko, you know, ayaw kitang pamunahan, I want you to experience all these emotions, all these things, Kasi it's gonna be a big part of your growth, pahayag pa ni Catherine, ang tanong na lang, magkatunuyan na kaya sa tunay na buhay si na Kath at Alden, let's wait and see. Catherine. Kasi I've only been into one relationship that lasted for 11 years. So, I, um, I've learned so much from my past relationship during, you know, I, I'm talking about growth, I'm talking about being unselfish, um, about um, grati gra gratitude, um, dreams, and all. Lumaki, lumaki ako sa 11 years ng relationship na yun. So during that um, 11 years, I'm learning. And after, when the breakup happened, ang dami ko din natutunan after sa sarili ko and sa lahat ng nangyayari. So feeling ko, um, I'm still... Um, um, work in progress? Um, I'm a work in progress, but I'm, I still don't know the real definition of love. But I think love can be found. Love can be found anywhere. Right. It can be from your family, from your friends, from your boyfriend, or from your girlfriend. And now I feel like I am so surrounded with so much love. Na yun yung pinapa feel sa akin ng mga tao. Da dun ko na realize after everything na. Um, after what you went through, kung ano man yun, any challenges, isusurround ka talaga with so many good energy and so much love. And I'm just so grateful for that. And that's a blessing. Yeah. Ano ang nadiskubre mo sa sarili mo after the 11 years? Ano mo yung mga bagay, Catherine? Ilalatag ko lang. Yung mga bagay na, akala ko hindi ko kaya, akala ko hindi ko, you know, the discoveries. And what was, 
the most important discovery you had about about yourself? I think natutunan ko na um, I think I can I think it's safe to say na I'm I'm pretty strong. I didn't expect myself. Um, I think the all the people here didn't expect that I will handle it that way. Me too. Oh. I didn't expect it, but it's just that that um, moment in my life tested my faith so much, and feeling ko sobra po ako na guide don. Ang uh, galeng. If, if we were to go back uh, to let's say the beginning of the 11 years, yeah. Ano ang payo na ibibigay mo to to that Catherine, to that young Catherine? What would you have said to her? You know nothing. Talaga. Um, I don't regret anything. No, I I know. Yeah. yeah so, ayoko siyang pangunahan. I want you to experience all the happiness. All what the was was okay to you. Yes, I oh. swear. Um, feeling. And alam ko marami mga question on but no, it's okay. it was eleven beautiful years. Yeah. And grabe yung naging um kung ano yung nakikita nyo ngayon ang laki ng part ng eleven years na yun. So. Kung nandyan si Little Kath, sasabihin ko, you know, ay ayaw ko itong pangunahan. I want you to experience all these emotions, all these things. Mm. Kasi, um, it's gonna be a big part of your growth. But one day, uh, sobrang bilis ng panahon. Okay. One, one day, you, you're gonna have your own daughter. Yes. You're gonna have your own son. Uh, you're going to have your own child. Halimbawa lamang, kinailangan, bigyan mo ng leksyon na may kinalaman po sa pag-ibig. Anong leksyon ito na sasabihin mo sa kanya? To my future daughter, yeah. son. Na mapapanood ang pag-uusap na ito. I would say, don't use your pain as a reason to hurt others. I think that's what I learned personally. Just because you're in pain, you're hurting, it doesn't mean that you have to do the same. Ganda. Yeah, to, it tends Just to be, because you are in pain doesn't give you permission to hurt another one. Yeah. Like, kindness, you can never go wrong with kindness. Begets kindness. Yes. And, uh, you know, if something bad happens or kung may yari, say, okay, I'll let you experience it because I can't protect you from it. But, siguro yung makokontrol ko lang is how you will handle yourself when you're in pain. And I want you to know na basta alam mo yung values mo, alam mo wala ka naapakan ibang tao, then you shouldn't be afraid of anything kasi lahat kakayanin mo. Yan yung ginawa yeah. so, sa sarili ko. It's very personal. Yeah. It's very, very personal. Yes or no? Are you ready to fall in love again? Yes. Kahapon pa! Kahapon pa! Ready, ready na sa no, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I mean, salamat. Thank you. You have my love, you have my respect. Thank you, you Thank have you. my respect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.